Hello everyone, the Relationship Scandal team researches a variety of messed up relationship stories. Some are users submitted to our email, some stories from Reddit and we also reach out to people on the streets, to mix things up. Our favorite conversation starter at parties is to ask people about their cheating scandal stories, we narrate these stories on our YouTube channel. We try to make it entertaining and make revisions, if we get editing permission, similar to Hollywood based on true life stories. Please support the channel by subscribing for daily updates. Without further ado, let's get into today's story. I am very unhappy right now. I don't know if I should feel angry or hurt, disappointed or understanding, but this is not a situation I want to be in. I really wish my girlfriend is more understanding of the emotional suffering she's putting me through. I have been dating my girlfriend for three months. Yes. We just started this relationship and that is why I'm trying to decide if what I am going through is a red flag or a forgivable offense. I have been involved in some scandalous relationships in the past and really wished people had alerted me to these red flags earlier on. I would have cut off those relationships, count my loss and saved myself the headaches. Now I'm in a current situation that is giving me flashbacks of the useless girls I've dated. My problem is that I can be a hopeless romantic and search for love in all the wrong places. Now, even though I have been dating my current girlfriend, officially three months, we have been friends for a while longer. I met her beginning of last year in college. The spring semester started, and fewer students were on college campus, so when we met at a mutual friend's hangout, we clicked. It's not that many of us on campus, so people were making friends so it wouldn't be a lonely semester. She's a junior studying art major and would be graduating this year. Now here's what happened. My girlfriend told me she would be attending Super Bowl party with a client that invited her from work. She works for an art gallery where they have exhibitions and sell expensive paintings. I figured since she was studying art history, it would make sense for her to work in an art related field. I asked if I could accompany her to the party, but she declined. This was strange. Why would my girlfriend tell me I can't attend the party with her as a plus one? This is the beginning phase of our relationship and we have been inseparable since we've been together. We do most things together as a couple. I told her I didn't like the idea of being left out of a Super Bowl party like that and it wasn't fair. She begged me to understand and told me she was going to be networking at the party. I asked if this was business or pleasure and she told me it was both, which now made me more uncomfortable. She explained there was an expensive oil paint she was trying to get sold to the prospective buyer that invited her, and if she can convince him at this party, she would make a great commission. I told her I don't care about the commission and wasn't trying to be bought off. This was a special Sunday I should be with my girlfriend, having a good time. The whole thing just wasn't right to me but like I said we just started the relationship, and I wasn't trying to be a controlling boyfriend or the jealous type. She even accused me of being clingy and trying to block her financial opportunity and asked if the situation was reversed, wouldn't I make the same decision? It dawned on me that this wasn't an argument I wanted to push further, and I wasn't looking too good, when she started to twist my words and add narratives, from a female perspective. I apologized to her and told her to have fun at the party. I ended up going to the bar with my guys and we had a lot of fun. We took an Uber ride, so we kept pouring shots, since we won't be driving anyway. It was a good hangout with the boys. I tried to call my girlfriend twice, but her phone was switched off, just wasn't going through. I thought it was strange but with the argument we had earlier, I didn't want to become suspicious anymore and just let it go. On my way back, I visited her room since her phone wasn't going through and her roommate said she wasn't back home. She both have each other room's key, so I made my way to her room to get sober a bit before going back to my place. My girlfriend did not come home that night. The game ran late but I made it back at a decent time, even watched a few of the celebrations. I fell asleep and my girlfriend opened her door at 5 am in the morning. I quickly woke up from my sleep, as I had slept off waiting on her. What I saw when my eyes were wide awake was surprising. My girl walked into the room with her hair looking a mess. She was fully clothed, but I saw visible paint all over her body that she couldn't hide. She was surprised to see me and before I could utter a word, what she said was, what was I doing in her room? I tried to explain that I came to check in on her because her phone was going through and wanted to make sure she was okay. 
I told her this was one of the few times I had come into her room without telling her prior. She would walk into my room every day and use my door keys to unlock the door, perhaps hoping she would catch me with another girl. A trust exercise she would jokingly call it. What the heck? Why am I arguing about what I was doing in her room, when she should be the one explaining why her whole body was covered in paint? Why was she just coming home from a Super Bowl party at 5 a.m. in the morning? She wasn't going to use reverse psychology on me this time around and switch this back to me. I firmly asked her, what the heck happened to you tonight? She told me to excuse her and hurriedly went into the bathroom. She said yes, it was paint all over her, but she needed to watch off the paint and freshen up before talking to me. As she went into the shower, I grabbed her phone to see what revelation I could get. I went to her photos, and it started to make sense to me. My girlfriend had changed from the clothes she wore when she left the house and was fully naked at this party, only dressed in body paint. Some bits of her private videos on her phone showed what she called behind-the-scenes footage. She was explaining the body makeup process. This was very uncomfortable to me. We never discussed she was going to attend the party dressed as a fantasy desire of several dudes in a room. It was a mansion party from the footage I could gather with middle-aged men smoking cigars and some models there as well. It seems she wasn't the only one dressed in body paint as I saw other girls painted as the opposing team. This was unsettling for me to watch because I was blindsided by this reveal. I quickly strolled to her messages and started seeing more disturbing texts. My girlfriend had deleted some of the texts but the full story I was picturing was that my girlfriend had been paid to attend the party as a model and not a guest. The guy texting my girlfriend told her to bring some of her friends that they wanted to make extra money. He went further and said and there would be extra money making opportunities after the party was over if they were interested. What? Who is this girl I call a girlfriend? Have I rushed into another relationship bound to fail? What other extra money making opportunity? At this point I was just boiling with anger. I tried to remain as calm as possible and dropped the phone. When my girlfriend came out of the shower, I told her to start explaining. She first started off with a lie. She said oh, she went to the party and started talking to her client who agreed to buy her paint and even gave her raw cash. She pulled out stacks of hundred dollar bills from her bag and told me she was meant to head to the office in the morning in a few hours. She said she had to deliver the payment plus arrange the delivery transaction. She told me her manager would be impressed and told me she was heavily tipped as well. I knew she was straight up lying in my face and at this time, I even couldn't be mad anymore. She didn't know that I have seen her phone and got the truth that I wanted. I just sat there and wanted her to keep going and see how creative she was with the lies. I wanted to see the extent she was going to go with it. I asked why she had dollar bills in her bag as well. Then she told me baby, those were the tips I told you about. Tips? You sold a couple thousands worth of oil paint and you received dollar bills in tips? She said yes, and told me the client even deliberately overpaid her because his Los Angeles Rams team won, and she would be pocketing some of the money. She told me to remember how the argument we had before she left went sour and that I shouldn't start with another argument at past 5 am in the morning. She told me she was a grown independent woman and could do whatever she pleases. She added with all the money she just made that night, she was going to treat me like a king and take me to a fancy restaurant that day. I told her not to try bribing me with food but answer my questions like, how did you end up in a body paint if you were making sales pitch and winning sales? At first, she stated she disliked my interrogation tone, stalled for time and then, her face gleamed up and she started cooking another story. She said after she secured the sales, the client told her he was missing one of the models he hired for the event. She said he offered to double the rate fee for her if she could do it and replace the missing model. She said she wanted to call me to ask if I was okay with it, but her phone battery went dead, so she just accepted the extra cash and did some body paint modeling. I said really. I reached into her bag and brought out the phone. I said this phone battery life is at 65% did it magically get charged. She said oh, she got a car charger to charge it on the way home. Guys, no matter what I asked this girl she had an answer for everything. I have never seen a professional liar. I even started to doubt what I read in her phone at this point. I snapped out of it and simply just called her name and told her I have gone through her phone and her story didn't line up. 
She went ballistic and started accusing me of going through her phone and lacking trust. Said I should not have gone through her phone when she wasn't there. She said the only time she had gone through my phone was when I was around and blah blah blah. I said okay. And I was sorry, but this relationship won't work. I quietly got up and started to leave. It seems my girlfriend had double personality at this point because she went being irritated that I went through her to suddenly wallowing in tears. Sobbing and crying out loud, she held onto my feet and started begging me not to leave. She said she admits parts of her stories were lies because she didn't want to upset me because she loves me. She told me to give her a chance to reveal the whole truth and provide evidence. She was crying profusely and a part of me felt bad. Nobody liked to be betrayed and I honestly feel like since we were in the beginning of the relationship anyway, it was better to just walk away. I was ready to walk away when she told me something that made me stay and want to listen to her. What she told is understandable to an extent which is why I am deciding if I should stay and work this out or heed to this warning signs and leave the relationship. It's quite honestly long so I would break this story into parts because I want you all to be able to digest my predicament and help me make good decision, knowing the full story. Like, why she stayed late, what she really does for a living, and what she was hiding from me apart from the lies. Relationship is complicated but it shouldn't be this complicated. If only people could be real and stop assuming men are the liars, cheaters, and scums of earth. Trust me, women can be 10 times worse. Relationship Scandals viewers, what do you think the guy should do? Leave your comment below and don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't joined the channel. An update to this story would be released, turn on the channel notifications so you can enjoy the follow-up details.